Welcome back, Faith Warriors of God. Faith Warrior Brother checking right back in with you. I want to jump on here really quick and make a video about temptation. Temptation means to entice and to lure. Satan wants to entice you and then lure you back into your sins. Satan wants to entrap you in sin because he wants you to experience that pain and guilt and shame of sin. And he also wants you to stay in that sin once you commit it. You think Satan wants you to repent of sin when you commit sin against God? No way. Satan wants you to stay in your sins because he wants you to stay in that darkness. But us, as being faith warriors of God, believers of God, and being part of the body of Christ, we have to be more wiser. We cannot use our freedom that we have in Christ to think that we can do what we want to do. For the Bible says in the book of 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, I want to say it's a ninth verse. It says, be sober, right? Be sober, meaning have a focused mind, a mind that's set on things that are above. You focus clearly on God, laser, infrared, laser focus. And then it says, be vigilant. The word vigilant means to be careful, alert, and aware. Because it said, your adversary, meaning Satan, the enemy, all right? Your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion. He is not the royal lion, the roaring lion. He is not the lion. Christ is the true lion of the tribe of Judah. Satan is a false lion. But anyway, it said, he is as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So Satan wants to devour you. Another word for devour is mean to destroy. Satan wants to be able to destroy you. He wants to get you in your sin, lead you away from God, and cause you to violate God's word. But we have to be more wiser. Here's an example. If you are a person that's struggling with pornography, right? You're a person that's struggling with porn or lusting after women or vice versa. you lusting after men, right? If you're a woman that has a problem lusting after men, or if you're a man that has a problem lusting after women, and you are addicted to pornography, what you need to do is this. You need to stop looking at these TV shows that has naked women in them, right? Because that what, what, see, what that's going to do to you is it's going to get those thoughts running in your mind. And that's going to weaken your will, and you're going to end up giving in. Then you're going to end up going back to that sin that you, you know, you know that you ask God to forgive you for. We have to be wise. Also, if you're a person that likes to drink beers and get drunk all the time, you know, and, and, and you know you, you know, you, you know you trusted in God to deliver you from that because God will deliver you from that. But again, you have to be wise. You don't want to hang around your friends that's always drinking. Because what that's going to do is it's going to you're going to it's going you're going to be tempted, you're going to be tempted um, to drink. You don't want to put yourself in a situation to where it's going to be hard for you, and you're going to have to battle in your mind because that's where Satan is testing you at. He wants to come to your mind. He's going to come to your mind when you are tempted. It comes to your mind first. And you're going to have to trust in God and believe in God to help you fight that temptation. Remember when Christ was tempted? Remember when he fasted for 40 days? And Satan tempted him? Christ fought Satan with the word of God. We have to fight Satan with the word of God. We got to say, get thee behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus. We have to stand on God's word when we are tempted. We don't have to yield to any temptation that Satan presents unto us because we have God on our side. Stop putting yourselves in situations to where you're going to be vexed in your mind, meaning to be tortured. Satan would torture you with things if you put yourself in situations to where you have to deal with those things. If you have a lust problem, a pornography problem, you got to start, you, you got to change the TV shows that you watch. Look at the ratings before the TV show come on. That's what I do. I look at the ratings. You know when it say rated R, meaning restricted, and then it show you the content of the movies. When it say sexual content, right? When it say that stuff like that. <laughs> that lets you know right there. Okay, I only I'm not gonna watch this because I know I have. Especially if you know you got issues with that particular sin, you want to stay clear from it as much as possible. That's called being wise. That's called being very very wise, because you do not want to be that person to think, oh, I'm, 
I got God in my life so I can do what I want to do. Man, you're going to end up falling. We have to be wise. God gave us wisdom and we have to use that wisdom that the Lord has given us. Right? If you're a person that likes to smoke weed and, and you did drugs before, you don't want to hang around that stuff no more. Why? Because you're going to make the temptation that much stronger. That much stronger. So let's be wise in this world. Let's not use our liberty in Christ to, to think that we can do what we want to do. Jesus Christ did set us free, right? He did. By his death, burial, and resurrection, by him being a sacrifice for our sins, he set us free. But don't entangle yourself in those sins that Christ came to set you free from. I'm going to say it again. Don't entangle yourself again in those sins in which Christ came to set you free from. He came and set you free from those sins. So why are you putting yourself in a situation so you have to commit those sins again because you're being unwise? Don't be unwise, please. Don't be unwise, faith warriors. Be wise in God. Be wise in the Lord. You know what sins caused you trouble in the past. You know what things has always weighing you down. We need to analyze our life. What is happening to cause you to do those things? And then take the proper steps not to put yourself in a situation so you won't commit those sins against God. We have power in God to overcome Satan because we have Jesus in our life. It is not us that win the battle. It's Jesus that fights for us. But we have to trust in him. We have to believe in him. Temptation is what Satan wants to use to destroy you. You have to know that. But God will not put anything on you that you can be, that you cannot bear. He will give you a way to escape that temptation. But you got to follow God's lead. Follow his lead. Follow his guidance. It is our faith that helps us overcome the world. It is our faith in the risen Savior. Don't let temptation get the best of you. I know we all have stumbled to temptation. I know I have. We all have committed transgressions against God. We all have, right? But we have to learn from our past failures. What led us to get to that point in darkness? What led us to get to that situation? What led us to commit that sin against God? Retrace your steps and see what you can do better next time. We have to be wise. God gave us a mind. We have to use it. We have to use it. We have to. You think when you tempted Satan, you think you think when you are tempted that Satan is going to go easy on you? You better know that he's going to give you everything he got. But we have more power than him because we have Christ in our life. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Bible says, submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You have power over Satan because you have God in your life. That temptation won't overcome you. You know why? Because you have made up in your mind that you're going to be wiser and you're going to be stronger and you are much better by trusting in God. Lean not unto your own understanding when you are tempted. Trust in God to fight for you. You have to stand and do all to stand in the evil day. Put on the whole armor of God. The whole entire armor of God needs to be worn continually by the faith warrior. What soldier is going to go out into the battle and have his armor on? He's going to be destroyed. You as a faith warrior of God, you need to go out into that. When you are in this world, you are in a battlefield. And you need to make sure that the armor of God is on you tight. The helmet of salvation. The bless, the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. The shield of faith. Hallelujah. The sword of the spirit. Put on the whole armor of God, faith warriors. Put it all on. 
Satan is going to try your faith. But we have God in our life. And if we have God in our life, we shall overcome. No temptation should be able to destroy you. No temptation. You know why? Because you are wiser, stronger, and better with God in your life. You are important to God. You are a victorious believer. Hallelujah. Believe in God and trust in him. When you feel like you don't have no strength left, pray. Pray. God will hear you. You know why? Because he cares for you. The Bible said, cast all your cares upon him for he cares for you. When you are in the midst of your satanic attacks, meaning when Satan is coming with onslaughts of temptation, don't try to fight them by yourself. Keep God there with you in your heart, in your soul, and in your mind. Victory belongs to you. Victory belongs to you. It's yours. It is yours. You turn into the back of the Bible, we win. If you turn into the back of the Bible, we win. Satan is already defeated. Hallelujah. He is already predicted to be thrown to the lake of fire. Don't let him deceive you. Don't let him deceive you. Temptation is going to come. It's going to come. Christ was tempted, but he did not consent to sin. The Bible said he was tempted at all points, but yet without sin. He did not consent to sin. He did not give in. Hallelujah. That same spirit that was in Jesus, it is in us. And we can overcome temptation. We don't have to fall to temptation no more. We got God in our life. Let God be at the center of your life. Let your word, let his word be in your heart so that you may not sin against him. Ask God to create in you a clean heart and renew the right spirit within you. Hallelujah. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways. Direct my path. Hallelujah. Ask God to be um, a, a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathway. Ask God for guidance because we cannot possibly do this by ourselves. We need the Lord to overcome temptation. Temptations are deadly if you yield to them. Hallelujah. They're deadly. So be wise. Don't put yourself in compromised positions. Stand on God's word, no matter the cost. We aim in to please the Lord, not man. It's all about glorifying God and praising the Lord God. I love each and every one of y'all. You guys can overcome temptation. Don't be deceived. You can overcome temptation. You don't have to sin against the Lord thy God every temptation that comes your way. You can overcome Sin, temptations. You can overcome anything that Satan brings your way because you got God in your life. And as long as you got God in your life, you win. You win. Until next time, faith warriors. Until next time. Let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.